What's up, Fuelers? Coach Brian Hurst here with Molly. With another edition of our Fuel House Remote Warrior Recap. Today's practice spends seven to nine minutes getting your body warmed up. We're going to go into our movement prep here where we've got three movements of three rounds. First one here is going to be a crawl. It is going to be forward, it's going to be reverse, and it's going to be side to side. You're going to do eight crawls in each direction. If crawling is not a good option for you, you can do some bird dogs. Then we're going into a curtsy to Cossack. So we're going to curtsy lunge. And then on that, keeping that same leg planted, stepping out for a Cossack squat. You're doing five per side. Now Molly is doing all on one side, then switching versus alternating. If the curtsy movement is no good for any reason, we've got a single leg deadlift. I got you, Molly. Okay. Hinging in the hips, pushing that foot down into the floor. You get nice and tall. Third movement here is prone wise. Now you're going to be lying face down. Notice what Molly did here with her shoulders. Go ahead and let those relax. So your shoulders are going to want to roll forward. Pull them back down towards your heels. Palms should be facing each other. Thumbs towards the skies. And we're going to lift those arms up. Now this move, movement should be happening through your shoulders and your arms. Not so much trying to lift your chest off the floor. Nice job, Molly. We're doing 10 of those there. After your three rounds, we're going into four rounds of strength today. So for our strength portion, we've got three more movements. First is going to be a squat. Any variation today, whether that's barbell, front or back squats, whether you're double rack, dumbbell or kettlebell, or if you've got a goblet hold. Molly's choosing a front squat position here, driving those elbows forward and out as she squats. Nice job, Molly. For six to 10 reps, then you're going into a 20 second hard style plank. We're choosing the forearm variation here, driving those knees to elbows, elbows to knees, squeeze in your butt, and you're that, breathing. So we're remembering to breathe during those 20 seconds of the plank. Otherwise, you can flip over and do some hollow holds. Third movement here is going to be a bent over row. Some barbell variation here. We're finding that lockout, then finding our hinge. Molly's pulling the bell, or sorry, the bar rather, towards her navel, and holding that contraction at the top, pinching those shoulder blades together for a brief moment. If you do not have any weights for these options, you can either do some deadlifts or blue bridges instead of your squats. You can do hollow holds instead of planks, or you can do single arm rows versus bent over rows. Six to ten reps on both of those movements. Twenty seconds on the plank or hollow hold. After four rounds, we're going into conditioning. We're going to finish off here with a descending rep ladder today. Uh, first up, we've got jump rope. You're going to do 180, 60, 40, 20 in your singles. Um, otherwise, split it by a third if you're doing doubles. Otherwise, you've got jumping jacks, step jacks, or high knees for um, alternates there if you don't have a jump rope. Then, the other three movements is going to be 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 as we go down, starting with sprinter sit-ups. So bring that knee to elbow as we sit up. It is going to be 10 per side here. Then, we're going into thrusters. So if this is with your barbell, getting set up in that front rack position, we're going to squat, explode out of the hole and use that momentum to blast the weight overhead and then absorb as you come back down into the squat for 10 total. If you're going singles, split up the reps um, in half. Then our third and final movement is renegade rows. We're getting in that high plank position. Molly's shoulders are stacked right over her wrist to support the load. And then we're pulling that weight back towards the hip, stabilizing, squeezing your butt so that there's minimal movement in your torso and hips. Again, renegade rows and your sit-ups, that is 10 reps per side, 8 reps per side, 6 reps, etc., all the way down to 2. Cool? Cool! Uh, 
If Sprinter Setups is not a good option for you, you've got the option for any crunch variation or dead bugs. I'm going to just show a dead bug real quick. Thank you, Molly. Very deliberate in your setup. If we're not doing any thrusters for any reason, you've got a reverse lunge to a curl or a sprawl. That is our sprawl here, so kick back, getting nice and tall. If we're not doing renegade rows, you can either do body weight or single arm rows. Oh, sorry, reverse lunge with a curl. Or your final option for renegade rows would be sit throughs. Body weight. Body weight variation. Sorry. It's okay. Sit through. Watch for the weights around you. Push it into the floor, trying to keep those shoulders and ears away from each other. Once you've completed your conditioning, 